getting ready to go here, and I thank everyone for uh, being with us. And today is the last Sunday before Christmas. Our message, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, a metaphysical interpretation of the scriptures that have to do with, with Christmas to see what they mean to us. And as we come into our opening treatment, what we would like to do today is to accept the experience of the presence of the divine within us, to awaken to it, to open to it, to realize it, to let it be born within us if it has not already been born within us, to let it grow within us. We recognize then that there is only one life and that life is God. It is perfect, whole, and complete. There is nothing missing. There is not too much or too little of God. All of God is everywhere present. When the divine creates, it has nothing to create out of except itself. The physicists tell us that the invisible energy takes on the visible form of matter. It exists in time and space, and then it goes back into the invisible energy. The metaphysician would say that the divine creates by becoming the thing that it has created, the invisible essence of the divine taking the form in time and space of its creation, expressing its life through its creation, as its creation. The entire universe, as we see it, and even that part which we cannot see, is the body of God, the physical manifestation of the divine, the Son of the Trinity. That perfect love, that perfect wisdom, that perfect power, that perfect intelligence has created each and every one of us out of itself. The spiritual us, the soul, that which is formless, but is, that which is consciousness. That which we recognize as our own self is the very point where the presence of God has come into manifestation as us to express, to experience, and to enjoy its life, its universe, its creation through us. The divine love has cloaked the soul in the physical form of the body, the perfect vehicle for it to use while we are here on this earth. It has provided us with a brain, a perfect instrument through which mind can think here on this earth. And it has waited patiently until we have awakened to the presence of the Spirit within, to the recognition of our unity with God and all of life right where we are, to the presence of the Christ. We recognize that it is the destiny of every soul to awaken to this presence, to embrace it, to nurture it, and to let it grow into its fullness in us, as us, and through us. 
So we accept this for ourselves right now. We accept our awareness of the presence of the divine within. We accept our dedication to nurture it, to support it, to encourage it to grow. We surrender everything and anything we have ever believed. And we allow the presence within to show us what we must be shown. We are grateful to know that there's this power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief. We are grateful to know that divine love has created us for itself and our hearts remain restless until they repose in it. And we release this treatment today, this declaration of our word. We release it to the Holy Spirit, the doer of the word, to the law of mind. Knowing that we live in a universe where it is done unto us according to our belief, this word is a declaration of our belief that the presence of God that is already within us is now revealing itself to us to a greater degree in a manner that we cannot mistake. We release this treatment to that perfect law so certain it is done that we say together and so it is.